Welcome. So what I want to do is show you how to solve this quadratic equation by factoring using the difference of two squares. Now remember, when we're looking at the difference of two squares, we have to have an expression that's in this format of a number squared minus another number squared. In this case, I have variables a squared minus b squared. When we have it written like this, we can factor down to a minus b times a plus b. Um, so that would be the factored form of that. Now, for a problem like this, we know we can apply by difference of two squares because it's in the right format of y equals ax squared minus c. Now, we can factor this the same methods that we've talked about before by using either the box method or using the x method. Um, but using difference of two squares, I think, is a little bit easier as long as we can make sure that we can rewrite it in this form. So right now, I need to determine, I know I have an x squared, but I need to have a term squared minus another term squared. So what I want to do is determine, can I rewrite this as a term squared? And can I rewrite 36 as a number squared? Well, fortunately for me, I know 36 is a square number, because I wrote them all over here. So 36 can be rewritten as 6 squared. And then I know x squared. I can be written as x squared already. And then 16 squared can be written as 4 squared. So since we're going to solve this, I'll have my output value is 0. So therefore, I have 4 squared times x squared minus 6 squared. Now, it still doesn't look exactly like this, right? I still don't have a term squared minus another term squared. However, by using the power of product rule, I can rewrite this as 0 equals 4x squared minus 6 squared. Now I have a term minus another term squared, or a term squared minus another term squared. And if you're not understanding you know, this rule, just think about, does this worse? Does 4x squared, so 4x times 4x, does that give you 16x squared? And yes, it does, so it works. So now by looking at this, we can now say that a equals 4x and b equals 6. So therefore, now that we have those two values, I can just apply them to inside here. So I can say 0 equals um, a, I said, is 4x minus 6 times 4x plus 6. Now I can apply the 0 product property to solve for each one. 4x minus 6 equals 0 and 4x plus 6 equals 0. Therefore, I add 6 on both sides. 4x equals 6 divided by 4. x equals 3 halves. Now I'll subtract 6 on both sides. Then I'll divide by 4. And therefore, x equals a negative 3 halves. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve a quadratic equation by completing the difference two squares. Thanks.